you'll notice that there is a copy button on the control panel of the cutter. When making copies, we often recommend that you use your software to make the copies, rather than using the copy function on the cutter. The reason for this is that the software provides a better sense of how the copies will lay out. This is especially true when adjusting the spacing between the copies. There are times though when the copy function on the FC8600 can be more productive than using your software. Imagine for a moment that you want to make several copies of a certain design on individual sheets of vinyl. From the software, you would have to send the design for each copy produced, then after the copy is cut, you'd have to unload the sheet, load a new sheet, initialize the cutter, send another copy from the software, and repeat that process over and over again. This would be a daunting task. When using the copy function, this makes the process simpler and more productive. It eliminates the need to send individual copies of the design each time there is a new sheet of media. Then we have to tell the cutter that we will be changing media between the copies and how many copies there will be. To start the process, load the first sheet. Press Roll 1 and then send the design from the software. Once it has completed cutting, change the media and press roll one again. It's at this point that we can then press the copy key on the control panel. This will display the copy menu. Press the one key for media change mode. Press the two key to turn it on. This will return to the copy menu. Next we can set the number of copies by pressing the two key. We can press the up arrow to increase the number of copies. We could enter as many as we want, but for demonstration purposes, we'll set the number to 3 for a total of 3 extra copies. Then we just press enter and it will start cutting the first copy. Once the copy is completed, a message to load the next sheet will appear. We can now remove the sheet that has been cut and load the second sheet. Once the media set lever is latched, the cutter will immediately scan for the media without even asking us to press Roll 1, Roll 2, or Sheet, and then start cutting the second job. Once the second job is complete, we can load the third sheet, latch the set lever, and it will cut the third copy. This process will continue until all the copies are cut. If at any point you need to stop the process, press the left arrow key. What's nice about this feature is that it allows you to have an unlimited number of copies. As you can see, this is a great production benefit when you need to make multiple copies of the same design on different sheets of media.